Yeah. Hey, all right, today we're gonna fish live mullet and cut mullet. There's been some really big Spanish mackerel on the surf. All right, so that's the bait we're gonna try to be cutting more of. We got a couple of live ones this morning. Gonna hook them right through the back here. Can't see your hands in the way. All right, like that. Ooh. And we're gonna cast them out. About a foot a liter, one ounce sinker. Wanted to swim around down there pretty freely. It's a little rainy, so it might take a while for this bite to get going today. Oh, sh oh sh is he on there? He's on there. He's on there. I got him. I got him. There you go. I let you fight him. It's nice and slow. I think it's a blue fit. Just keep reeling. Oh, oh my. Can I just fly like that? Yeah. I think he's tangled the other line, but that's all right. Just keep working him. Okay. And it's going to have to like kind of walk him through this area. Bluefish. Keep walking them back, keep walking them back. And then you walk them up onto the sand. Ice baby! Yep, keep going. That's a bluefish! <laughs> Hold them up. Bluefish. Bluefish! That's, that's the quintessential. Right? Yeah, don't put your hand, you can see, look at the leader, it's all screwed up already. Oh, We're gonna retie that. That's the quintessential saltwater fish right there. You're gonna cook them. Yeah. He ate that live mullet. He did. He ate the live one. So we got to get more live because okay. that's going to work. Okay. So the first thing, this is an oily fish. First thing we have to do is bleed them because it's going to be like, it's nasty. You, I don't want to watch you do that. You have to smell it for the culture. He's stinky. Oh. But yeah, I'm going to retie that because you see when they bite it, the line gets weak. So you can see. That? Yeah, that's him oh. chomping at it. So let me take this and this and I will reorganize myself at the cart there we're doing something different there's been like i said there has been some monstrous spanish mackerel around and that's really what we're targeting out here but uh a couple bluefish uh meg's never tried a bluefish so i feel like that's an absolute nece necessity for the culture so we'll bleed them out right here let's just see 18 inches yeah these are cocktails the rigs here uh they got 60 pound on them so 60 pounds good for a fish or two of teeth. Uh, I should be breaking off any uh, any sharks with 62. They're getting deeper too. Tide's starting to come up. Ah, but, come out. Oh damn, you got so many. Good job. You wanna fight him? Is it a shark? Oh yeah. Keep tension on him, hang on. All right, go for it. <laughs> it's in there, here, go for it. Just keep, keep the line tight. I got him, I got him. It's a sandbar shark. Just keep him. Walk this way. They're, they're, oh, they're all tangled. Shit. All right, let me take care of this guy first. Yeah. I think you did break him off. That's good. Was that fun? Yeah. <laughs> we'll see. Maybe we get one more, one more bite before we gotta run. But that next batch of rain is probably going to be a little heavier, my guess. Yeah, it does look like a little yeah, more spooky. Yeah, it looks like it's going to be heavier. Then we'll get some hot food and we'll come back. Tighten it up, tighten it up. Is he there? He's there. It doesn't feel like a shark, does it? Doesn't, no, it doesn't feel like a shark. Oh, you can see him swimming like up. Walk down towards the water slowly. Oh, let him. I, I think that's a Spanish. Spanish for another bluefish. Good job, good job, baby. Nice Spanish mackerel. And uh, I lose them all the time right here. Just walk them, walk them. 
Nice job, baby. Good job. Yeah. <laughs> you know, look at that pretty spot. Like, his teeth look like American. crazy. High five, you got him. Yeah. He's dripping blood. Yeah, we're gonna keep him, don't worry. Okay. That is a nice one, though. Oh my god. <gasps> All right, Meg just landed her first Spanish mackerel. Yeah. So they, they like to, to run real fast. As soon as they get in the wash here, they really like to go crazy. But that's a real nice one. Do you wanna hold it up? Yeah. Take a picture. Get him, get him. <laughs> He's on there. The drag might need a little tightening. Is that another Spanish? They might just invade out of nowhere into that surf zone. I don't feel it anymore. He's not. They might have lost him. No, he's there. He's on there. I think it's another Spanish. Oh. It's nice and slow. Okay. Same, same like the other one. <laughs> well, it could be yeah. a bluefish though. He's it still there. doesn't feel like a shark or anything. No, nah, I don't think so. The sharks are just so much like... Don't do that pump too much. Just nice and slow. And he's gonna run. That's another Spanish. Spanish? Yeah. Yeah, they, they love to run at the end there. I think it's a big... It might be a bluefish. Is it a bluefish? He's coming. He's coming. No, big Spanish. Big. He's big. Oh, high five, baby. That's a stud. That's a stud. That's a stud. All right, Wanna let's do the thing? Yeah, open it up. Good job. Yeah. Out of nowhere, they just all showed up. <laughs> they didn't have much action for a while. Yeah. Look at that. Aren't they pretty? <laughs> Same like the bluefish. We want to bleed them out. I'm fishing pretty light sinkers for the surf though. Just one ounce. Um, really want those, those mullet to not be on the bottom. Because those Spanish mackerel aren't really bottom feeders. I haven't done a whole lot of this fishing, kind of putting it together, but uh, they're definitely kind of attacking these mullet schools sporadically. Just give it a little tighter. Oh God. Really? You could see it? He's swimming sideways. What is it? <gasps> that is! <laughs> Woohoo! Oh, it's like hooked in the gill or whatever. Uh, right on, it's kind of on the mouth. Oh, Heck yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. We made a friend. He's over there. He's our he's our buddy. Yeah, they they always oh. do that. They hit in like such strange Dang spots. Yeah. Heck yeah. Uh, most guys on the piers, when they live bait with Spanish for Spanish mackerel and king mackerel, they're using real small treble hooks. Um, we got one on a circle hook. Uh, I feel like you got better odds with a, a light treble hook. Basically the lightest wire you can get away with uh, so you don't injure any fish if you hook a drum. There hasn't been any drum around, so I'm not too worried. But if you do hook a drum, you don't want to you know, put a hook in there that you just can't bend with a pair of pliers out. Uh, crush the barbs also. Um, these fish, yeah, these fish you gotta really finesse them into it anyway, so. Oh my god. They're creepy looking. Okay. See, that's how he swims. Oh, it's so cute. He, he puts, his, puts his fins out and really gets his speed. That's rib cage there, we don't want that. Oh, look how clean and perfect you did that. I mean, there's some meat here, the belly meat, but. Uh. It's like ribs here. That's yeah, okay. Yeah. This side's perfect. I actually might have done a better job on this side. Yeah. What's that dark red spot? Organ. Organ. Gut. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Good job. There we go. Looks good. That's right there. What is that? It's like a little parasite. Ew. I think that is. It's like a shadow. Right. I notice if you leave them in the, in the cooler for a long time, that's what we left about eight hours probably. I think eight hours. About eight hours. Yeah. Sometimes if there's any like creepy crawlies in its gut, it'll Ugh. crawl into the, into the flesh. So 
let me just show you what it is. I've can seen you it. take it out and still eat it, or yeah, do you not it, want it, to do that? You can, yeah, it, cooked, it's totally harmless. Get the camera back on it. Um, I forgot the name of that. Um, I've asked around what, what the deal is with these, because I, I was curious a little while Ew. back. Um, I believe that's a parasite, yeah. Or maybe it's some sort of blood clot. I've heard that those are some sort of little parasites, so. It's blurry. A mineral deposit, I don't know. I've seen it a couple times on the Spanish mackerel. Um, so, I'll leave that to the internet. Is it a blood clot? IDK. Okay, bluefish was the first saltwater fish I ever caught and ate myself to like try. So this was the first saltwater fish I've ever tried in my life. Fish that has gone through many cycle changes in my lifetime. Their distribution has reduced significantly in the last uh, five years. That the big ones used to really be pretty easy to find in a lot of places. Now they're getting a little more uh, elusive. These guys, very abundant though. The smaller ones? Yeah, one to three pounds. Th these fish don't, I think a lot of natural pred predators get to them. Sharks, etc. Because they're all over the coast. Um, but the larger ones are very uh, rare. These fish are in the Mediterranean, Australia, Africa. They're almost everywhere in the world. Wow. The only place I think they're not in is the Pacific Ocean. But everywhere else, more or less, for the most part, yeah. Look how dark it is. <laughs> Ew. Unlike the Spanish mackerel, this fish has a, what's called a bloodline that's very strong. It'll definitely uh, enhance the flavor taking this part of it off. I haven't done this in a while, so if I screw it up... Don't judge him, internet. I haven't done the skinning. I, I hope these knives aren't too sharp. I'm doing okay. Careful, though. I'm almost cutting through it. Whew. I was sweating. It's been a long time, but see all that? Yeah. We want to take all this uh, out. It's really strong flavor. Okay. I'm just going to take as much of it that's kind of like practical off. Mm -hmm. We got to take the bones out. We'll do that tomorrow too. Okay. Let's get those bones out. I guess we're just going to separate it. I don't know what, if there's more a practical way to do it. But you need to try. You have to experience it. Okay. Make your own decision. Some people will love it. Okay. Some people don't. We shall see. I'm somewhere in between. Certain preparations I like of it, but for the most part, not for me. For the uh, most part. Uh, yeah. But there are certain ways I do like it. Okay, from sea to table, Meg's gonna show us what she's gonna do. <laughs> so we're gonna make like a teriyaki um, type of glaze for the Spanish mackerel that I cut. This is our bluefish, and these are the Spanish mackerel that we got. Three tablespoons of teriyaki sauce. That's like the best noise ever, the opening of the... Oh, opening of a, of a bottle? Of a bottle. I like the Snapple sound. This one's thicker. Three tablespoons of hoisin. Three oh. tablespoons of soy sauce. And one tablespoon of <laughs> white vinegar. And one tablespoon of... That was a little bit Extra. too much. And sesame oil. So now we'll add the third third cup of brown sugar. We love garlic, so we do love garlic. I mean, three cloves. Oh, I'm gonna use my strength. Fresh ginger. It says two tablespoons, but I'm gonna um, guesstimate. Uh, we're Frankensteining a salmon recipe we found. Uh, any salmon recipe usually translates pretty darn well into Spanish mackerel, in my opinion. We're gonna mix it together all the ingredients together and pour it over the fish. We want to save some for, so we're going to heat it up and make it like super glazy. Mmm, glaze. So just do like a little bit, pour a little bit, and then I'm going to put the next fish over it. There you go. I'm one-handed helper holding a camera. <laughs> all right, then put the next ones in here. Uh, the bluefish should come out pretty good like this. I would think it should come out pretty good. Usually flavor the same. You're, it'll taste yeah, the same. an oily fish it, it does well with, as an oily fish recipe. 
All right, this is gonna get, I think, what, like 20 minutes or so? Yeah. 30, 20 or 30 minutes. So, uh, you know, get, you get more flavor out of it, you leave it up to an hour. And uh, we'll preheat an oven, our oven rather, not an oven. <laughs> we'll preheat the oven. <laughs> we'll preheat the oven to 400 right now. If we didn't make rice, rice would be the perfect side dish. <sighs> it takes forever to make rice. Yeah. Too late. Okay, so we're going to boil the leftover sauce and then we're going to turn the heat down and let it simmer for like three minutes. I'm gonna check the temperature on the thick ones, mm -hmm. see if they're good. We had about 12 minutes. That's probably been three minutes, right? Yeah, for sure, that's ready. There we go. And then we're gonna top it with some... Some fun stuff. Toasted some sesame seeds. Yum. You could probably serve this with some rice. We're skipping the rice because uh, that takes too long and we didn't plan in time. <laughs> Oopsies. We forgot. Yeah, kind of, kind of we just forgot. All right, let's bring it outside. Yes. So this is bluefish. I'll try that first. Oh, go for it. What do you think? It's not as... It's not gross. I thought it was going to be nasty. Uh, but I want to try Spanish now. That's much better. <laughs> but softer. It's not as... Tough. And tough. That's what I always describe bluefish as. Mealy. Tough. I've tried a million times both of these, but Spanish has that fishy flavor. Mm -hmm. But it's not like overpowering and also has a, a better texture. It's almost, yeah, it's more fishy than the bluefish, I think. This is the first time I'm eating bluefish this year. I haven't eaten in a while. Yep. It's still the texture. Yeah, it's too tough. I don't know if tough's the word. It just doesn't have like that texture that... This preparation is great. It's actually... Totally edible. There's nothing that inedible about it. Oh no. But you had to try it. I did have to try it. No, that was actually no, probably no. one of the better preparations I've had. It doesn't fry well at all. Um, but with it, broiled, uh, grilled, smoked, all those preparations do bring out a, a better flavor from it. Uh, next to Spanish mackerel, I'd still take Spanish mackerel as my fishy fish um, taste. I don't like king mackerel that much either. I find king mackerel and bluefish to be closer than king mackerel and Spanish mackerel would be. My, just my, how they taste to me. But anyway, uh, thanks to Meg for hanging out in the rain. You, you man all, up. Yeah, yeah we fun. rained all day. Uh, there'll be affiliate links in the video's description. I'll put the recipe in the video's description. Uh, I think we had a pretty good time. We did. We did have, we cut out a lot of shark footage. We, uh, there were so many sharks. Yeah, we had a lot of shark bites that were like, <laughs> bumping gone so uh good times overall so uh that was thanks for spanish mackerel and bluefish yes so, good times well so, thanks for watching guys bye